New at 6, Putnam County has many covered bridges. Yeah, they are a part of Indiana's rich history, but time has taken its toll, and I found out the challenge now is how to save them. For Melissa Hammond, this covered bridge is more than just a quaint historic marker in her quiet town. That bridge actually is a... Uh, a location where my dad professed his love to my mother by writing in it. She recalls driving across the bridge, seeing the words her father wrote to her mother. I would love to see it preserved. There's a lot of history there. It's a place that not only brought two people together, but also brought people from one side to the other. And it's in danger, like other historic covered bridges in Putnam County. We're probably the second worst in the state. Jim Peck is the Putnam County engineer. He's been on the job for a year, and he spent that time getting the word out to the county commissioners, the Greencastle City Council, and the general public that these historic structures are suffering from water damage, overloading, and age. We've got nine covered bridges in Putnam County. We have 10 truss bridges. Uh, just recently, I've had to close uh, four of those uh, bridges because of structural um, uh, compromises on those. Most of the county's 222 bridges are more than 50 years old, and roughly 52 of those bridges need to be replaced. Jim has done a solid job letting people in Putnam County know, and they want to be part of the solution. When you think of Putnam County, you think of the covered bridges. Well, I hope they save it, and uh, any, any, any help we can be will help. Saving Putnam County's covered bridges is now a race against time and nature. So we are way behind. Um, this is a, it's going to be a priority for the county. The big thing is how we're going to fund it. Putnam County's bridges are not on the National Registry of Historic Places, which presents a challenge for securing money. Also, Putnam County projects haven't been earmarked to receive federal money by way of INDOT for several years. Well, since 2018, they have not gone after any federal money. So we're basically, my goal is try to get federal money for each year for a new bridge. The drawback? It could take up to five years to receive the money after submitting applications. Tearing it down would be very heartbreaking. Jim believes the bridges can be preserved for their historic significance, but cannot support heavy loads or traffic. Unfortunately, a lot of these don't meet the uh, current day geometry load limits. But if we can restore them, build bypass structures so that we can still use them, visit them, People can look at their heritage uh, of, of the county and really respect, you know, the generations before that spent the time and effort and resources to build these bridges. So it remains to be seen if this comes down to restoration, preservation, or elimination. The Putnam County Commissioners are now working with a nonprofit to get the bridges designated as historic sites. Putnam County restored a covered bridge in 2016 and it cost $1.3 million. With inflation and supply chain issues, it could cost $3 million to restore just one of the closed bridges, according to the Putnam County engineer.